All right, at this point in the course, we're gonna go over Svelkit's routing. Now Svelkit comes with a built-in router. It's a file system based router, which updates the page contents anytime it intercepts a navigation. This means that the file structure of our src slash routes folder is going to be our route structure of our application. So right now, the only files we have within our routes folder is our index file and layout file. Now our index file is what we've mostly been working out of in previous videos up to this point. If we go to our browser, this is the page we see at our root URL. Let's go ahead and create a new page in our routes folder. I'm going to name it products.svelte and I'll paste in some code to display different products on this page. Now if we go back to our browser and go to the route slash products, we will see our products page is being displayed. So simple, right? As we can see, the file name determines the route. If we change the name of our file from products to shop, we see there's no longer a page at products and instead it lives at slash shop. Now notice that this is not the case for our index.svelte page. This page does not live at slash index because our index.svelte file will automatically be the root of our site. Now we can also create nested routes. In order to create nested routes, we need to create a folder for each subroute. For example, if we're going to have a collection of products and we want each product to have a slash product subroute, we can do this by creating a new folder within our routes folder called product. Now let's add our product page within this folder called cup.svelte and add some code to display our cup product info. Now if we go to our browser and view the page at slash product slash cup, we see our cup.svelte page is being displayed. We can add as many pages as we want within this product folder, and they will all be a subroute of slash product. We can even add more folders within the product folder to create deep nested routes. For instance, if we want to add another folder within our product folder called apparel and add a new page within it called t-shirt.svelte, we will see this page is displayed at the route slash product slash apparel slash t-shirt. Now you may be wondering, how do we add a root page for when we land on the path slash product? We can create a root page by adding an index.svelte file within the folder. So every folder within our routes folder can have an index.svelte page, and this will be the default root for that folder. So for instance, adding an index.svelte file for our product folder will create a route for that folder name. Now if we go to slash product in our browser, our index.svelte page is being displayed. We can also use advanced routing with SvelteKit using dynamic parameters. For example, our product pages will all be the same structure, the only thing changing is the content. Rather than duplicating all the code for each page, we can pass the dynamic parameter in the URL, say the product's name, and we can use that param to fetch the data associated with that product name and display the specific product info on our page. To do this, we can simply change the name of our cup.svelte page to be the name of our dynamic parameter within square brackets. So in this case, our dynamic parameter is the product's name. So we can update the file name to be name.svelte where name is within square brackets. Now within this page, we can access that dynamic parameter from the page variable in the package app slash stores. So in our script, let's import page from app slash stores and our dynamic parameter will be under the object called params. So let's log the parameter in our console for right now. Now in our browser, let's go to the path slash product slash cup, and here we see that our page is logging our dynamic parameter in the console, which in this case is cup. Now I'm going to set the value of our variable product to an empty object, as well as add a new variable products, which will be an array of our available products. Now we can use our dynamic parameter to dynamically update the value of product and set the contents of our page. If I go ahead and hit save, we see that our page is still displaying our cut product. If I change the parameter in our route to sticker, our page content is updated to our sticker product. Now this is a pretty basic example, but dynamic parameters are very powerful. In the future, you may use this parameter to fetch data from a database or an API. So that sums up SvelteKit's client-side routing. In the next video, we're gonna go over layouts. I'll see you there.